Hi, my name is Mike and I want to show you how easy it is to implement network communication using TML components. The project I've prepared demonstrates a simple message call. TML is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol. There's no server or client. An application needs a listener to be ready for incoming connections. The peer that is establishing a connection is called the initiator. The difference to a client-server protocol is after the connection is established, both peers can send and receive commands. For this example, I'm using Lazarus on Microsoft Windows. Components are available for Delphi and C++ Builder as well. TML can also be used on Linux and Mac OS X with Lazarus or its C++ C++ API. To enable TML communication, I need to add a TML core component. The TML core can be used to initiate connections to other peers. Enable incoming connections requires the listener of the TML core to be initialized. I need to configure the listener IP and the listener port. The default value for the listener IP binds to all available network interfaces. To initialize the listener port, I'll use the form create event in this example. A TCP IP port can be used only by one process at a time. I assign a random port number to the listener port property of the TML core because I want to start multiple instances of my example program on one host. To start the listener, I assign true to the listener enable property. The listener will be stopped automatically on program termination, but I want to use the onClose event and assign false to the listener enabled property to stop listening for incoming traffic. To establish a connection to a TML peer, I need the IP address and the port number. I've added a label to my project's main window to display the random port number after successfully starting the listener. I add this information to the label caption. Now I can compile my example for testing. I start the first instance of my program. So everything's okay, the port number is displayed. Now I start a second instance of the program. As expected, I have a different port number. My example program is now ready for TML communication. To implement a simple chat, I need to add a profile to my application. The profile has to be connected to the TML core I've added earlier to the project. The profile is identified by a unique string in the profile property of the component. To be sure it is unique, I use my company URL and extend it with the project name. Now commands can be added to the profile. I add a command to receive and display a message from another peer. TML is multi-threaded and to avoid problems accessing visual component properties I need to set the synchronize flag. Commands are identified by a unique number or command ID. My command is identified by the ID 42. An incoming command with the defined command ID is passed to the on command call event. Here's the place to implement whatever I want this command to do. For the chat, I need to read a message from the command that is located in the parameter group message and the parameter key text. I add a default to make sure data will be returned even if the command does not contain the requested group key combination. The data I found is added to the memo lines to display.
Next, I want to send the message. A text is typed into the edit field on the left side of the send button. Pressing the button will send the text. First, I need a TML command message object. The command message manages all information of a command call. I pass the command ID to call, which is 42, to the constructor. Because I want to transfer the data of the edit field, I add the text to the command using the group key combination I've defined in the on command call event of the profile. Now I can call the command using the sync call method that waits for the command to be executed on the remote peer before it returns. The parameters define the profile I want to call, the host name or IP, the port, the command I want to send and the timeout. That's it. After the call I can free the command object. Now I can compile and test my application. I'm using two instances again. Instance 1 and instance 2. After entering the port number of the other peer into the address field, I can send messages to it. The special about TML is that I can do it in the other direction too, without establishing a second connection between the peers. Okay, seems to work. After a few minutes I've implemented a bidirectional network communication that can be extended to much more sophisticated requirements. Maybe you've realized the progress bar on my application form. I want to extend my example with the second command that transfers the progress bar position from one peer to the other. Again, I add a command, this time with the command ID 43 and implement the on command call event method. The progress bar position is an integer and I read it from the command with the readIn function. TML is very strict about data types. Network communication is vulnerable to weak data types. That's the reason TML does not even allow to read an int value as a float without throwing an error to force usage of correct data types on both sides of the interface. To adjust the progress bar position I use a track bar. The onChange event of the trackbar sets the position in the local peer and sends the value to the remote peer. I need a command object again. But first I set the position of the local progress bar by assigning the trackbar position. Now I create the command object, but this time with the ID 43 and add the trackbar position to its data. I'm using the write int function this time. Sending the command will call the setting of the progress bar position we've added earlier. Time out. Don't forget to free the command object after the call. Compile the application. Oops, something wrong. The command is missing. Okay, compile again. Now it works. 
For testing, I start the two instances of the program. Add the port number to the address and move the trackbar. Okay, it seems to work. Now the other way. Okay, works too. That's it. Thank you for watching my video and I hope I see you again on tmlsoftware.com.